Hey guys, and welcome back to this 11th tutorial in MATLAB. Um, we're going to cover more stuff on debugging this time. Uh, a couple other options we haven't looked at under the debug drop down menu. But um, before we do that, there's something I want to cover still regarding um, the step out state or step out command. And to do that, let's begin by creating a for loop. And let's say we'll have it loop 10 times. And I don't know. Why don't we have it output the value of A for each loop? Okay. Uh, place a breakpoint here on A. And then let's save this guy and run it. All right. So now you see that we've broken um, here for the first loop where A is equal to 1. Now if we continue, we'll continue until we encounter this breakpoint again. So basically we'd have to continue 10 times in order to exit out of this loop. But, alright, if instead we move this breakpoint on top of 4 right before we execute the 4 uh, structure, we run this again, and this time we select step out. If we step out, we completely bypass this four structure here. So that way, we don't have to step through each of the statements within, within the loop for every one of the iterations. We could just bypass it. Now that might be handy if you're debugging and you're rapidly trying to pass up some loops in your code to evaluate some other locations. But um, anyways, I just thought it would be important to, uh, to mention that. All right. Well, um, well, this also applies for other blocks of code in your uh, within your function as well. You can uh, step out of instead of having to have, evaluate all the statements within that block of code. But the next thing I want to talk about is what is called a conditional breakpoint. And these breakpoints only uh, break or active um, under the conditions in which you supply. Uh, let's examine what that means. So let's say we put a breakpoint on A again. And this time we right click on this circle. And this option here, it says set modify condition. All right. Well, if we want to break, say, when A is equal to 5, and that means when we're in the fifth loop, we want to evaluate um, the variables inside this loop, then this should. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, we need a double equal sign. Okay. So you see that this red dot or red circle is now a yellow circle, meaning it's a conditional breakpoint. So since we said that we wanted to evaluate this breakpoint when A is equal to 5, this breakpoint will only, will only break at this breakpoint when A is equal to 5. So if we run this, and now we examine what the value of a is. We see that it equals 5. And then we can continue on stepping through the rest of the loops if we like. We can also provide um, more complex uh, conditions for our breakpoints. Say we wanted to break when, I don't know, a equals 5 or a is equal to no caps lock. K is equal A is equal to seven in this case. Press OK. And if we run this again, we see the first time we break, A is equal to five. Now if we continue, we'll continue on until we reach the next breakpoint. But that will only hold true um, for the next condition that we supplied. So if we run, a should now equal to be equal to 7. And as you see, the value of a is equal to 7 here. And if we continue again, we exit out of the for loop. So that's pretty much the conditional breakpoint. And they can be useful if um, you want to evaluate the, the variables or change the variables within a certain iteration of your loop. Um, but yeah, 
this this pretty much concludes uh, what I wanted to cover for debugging. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, just uh, shoot me an email, and I can go over some of these other things in here. But um, that's just about it, and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. All right. Well, take care. Adios.